which has the greatest volume. Volume of a square base pyramid, volume of a rectangular base pyramid, and volume of a circular base pyramid. What is the name for a circle base pyramid? Cone. So this is simply known as a cone. So instead of saying circular base pyramid, we simply say a cone. So we're going to look at how to calculate the volume for a square base pyramid, a rectangular base pyramid, and a circle base pyramid, which is simply known as a cone. What is this? This is a pyramid with a square base. How are you sure this base is square? It looks like. If here is A and here is A, this is a square base pyramid. But if this length and this length are not the same, then it's a rectangular base pyramid. A pyramid often have an apex, which is the tip of where all the slanted lines meet. A pyramid have a lateral face, also have an edge. Apart from the slant height and the length of the base, a pyramid also have perpendicular height, which starts from the apex and down to the geometrical center of the base. To find the volume of a pyramid with square base, the formula is 1 over 3 multiplied by the area of the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. The height we are talking about is this perpendicular height that starts from the apex to the geometrical center, not the slant height. The slant height is L and the perpendicular height is H. You see, it doesn't matter if this is a square base or if it is a rectangular base or if it is a circular base. This same formula applies to all their volumes. Find the volume of this pyramid. Does it have a square base or a rectangular base? A rectangular base. What do you get as your answer? To find the volume, the length here is 7 and the length here is 5. So this is a rectangular base pyramid. And what is the height? 3 cm. Then, the volume of the pyramid is 1 over 3 times the base area multiplied by the perpendicular height. We have 1 over 3 times what is the base area, which is 7 multiplied by 5. This is the area of the rectangle multiplied by what is the height, 3. This is 1 over 3 times 35 multiplied by 3. This 3 we cancel this three, and the volume is 35 centimeter cube. Don't forget the unit. Don't just write 35. So the volume of this pyramid is 35 centimeter cube. What is the volume of this pyramid? Is this a rectangular or a square base pyramid? Square, square because both sides are equal. To find the volume of this square base pyramid, we're going to have that the volume is 1 over 3 times the area of the base times the height, which is the perpendicular height. The volume is 1 over 3 multiplied by, this is 8.7 millimeters, and this is 8.7 millimeters. It's a square base, and this height is 9.1 millimeters. If the question gives you this in cm and this in millimeters and this is in millimeters, then you have to convert that which is in cm also to millimeters. But since this is in millimeters, this is in millimeters and this is also in millimeters, the base is 8.7 multiplied by 8.7 since this is the same because it's a square times the height is 9.1. The volume is 1 over 3 multiplied by, what do you have here? 75.6, you have 75.69 times 9.1. Multiply this by this and divide it by 3. What do you have? 
0.6 what? No, what's the trailing number here? Uh, five. Please give that to me. Five, nine, three. just five, nine, three. Like this. If the question asks you to leave it to one decimal place, then you are going to have 229.6. This is to three decimal places. If the question asks you to leave your answer to two decimal places, it's going to be 229.59. If I have this as 229.6, what is this? I've left it to one decimal place. Then I will write my unit, centimeter cube. Is this correct? How is this correct? No. This is to one decimal place. But is this correct? It's millimeters. If it is an optional question, you might see millimeters, you might see centimeters. So you observe clearly before you choose an answer. This is in millimeter cube. This is the volume for this square base pyramid. For a circular base pyramid, you have the radius, the slant height, and the perpendicular height. The base is area of a circle. Let's find the volume of this circular base pyramid. A circular base pyramid is known as a cone. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 multiplied by the base area multiplied by the height. This is 1 over 3 times the base area is area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared times the given height. Here, we are going to have that the volume is 1 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius is 4 squared times the height is 13. The volume is 1 over 3 times pi times 16 times 13. 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 16 times 13. What is 22 over 7? The volume is... 217.8170906 217.82 This will be to two decimal places. If I have 217.8, this will be to one decimal place. What's the unit? Is it cm or millimeters? Centimeter cube. This becomes the volume for this cone. This is a square base pyramid, and this is a circular base pyramid. Which has the greatest volume? Leave your answers to two decimal places. So, when we started, someone said that <laughs> the square base is bigger. He automatically said that this is bigger than this. I said, why? He said, visually, just looking at it, this is bigger. But after you, you might have done the calculations, what happened? This is bigger. You see why calculation is very important? You can just look at something and just say, oh, that's the answer. But if you do the calculation, you just discover that it's not. For this, this is a cone. For the cone, we have 1 over 3 times the base area times the height. We have 1 over 3 times the base area is the area of a circle times height. Here, we have 1 over 3 times pi. The pi here is 3.142. We can use 22 over 7 times the radius is 3.2. This is squared. And what is the height? Seven. The height is 7. If you solve this, what did you get? 75.06 to two decimal places. And what's the unit? Centimeters cube. This answer is the volume for this cone. Next, you're going to find the volume of this square base pyramid. For the square base pyramid, the formula still remains 1 over 3 multiplied by the base area multiplied by the height. This is 1 over 3 times the base area here is the base here is a square of one length, 3.2 cm. And this is area of a square, which is if one side of the length is A, the other side is also A times the height. Here we have 1 over 3 times 
a squared and one side of the length is 3.2 times 3.2 multiplied by the height is the same which is 7. If you solve this what did you get? 23.89 centimeter cube. So this is the volume of the cone and this is the volume for the square base pyramid. Looking at it, you can see that the volume for the cone is greater than the volume of the square base pyramid. But looking at it visually, as soon as I gave you the question, he immediately said that this is greater, even without doing the calculation. But as soon as he did the calculation, what happened? You see that this is far greater than this. So don't just look at an object visually and just say that this is greater than this until you have done the calculation. The calculation could say otherwise than what you are looking at visually.